Hello, this is Lucas with N2B Solutions. Today we are going to talk about the Viking paging interface. It is a simple way for you to connect a uh, Grandstream UCM to an overhead paging system or overhead speaker that you might want to ring. Um, there are two different types of connections you can use. One is uh, analog and if you're going to use analog connections to connect to your uh, PA system, you'll need a Viking box or something like it. If you're going to use a SIP connection, then you want to use something like the uh, SNOM PA1. Um, if for this, we're going to be using the uh, Viking uh, paging interface. Viking uh, is the brand. The uh, model is the PI-1A. So if you need one, that's what it is. I will include that in the description. I will also include in the description the names of the ports that we're using today so that you have an easier idea of uh, how to find them. Um, the Viking PA1 is this little guy right here. It comes with a little cover. It can be removed, um, but it sits on it quite nicely and you can mount it to your wall or whatever you want to do. Once you open it, you can take the cover right off and that's okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to connect two different interfaces um, to this Viking box and then you're going to have an output that goes to your overhead paging. The overhead paging may have an amplifier in between this box and the speaker, but for our testing purposes, we're not going to put the amplifier in, so the speaker is going to be kind of quiet. Um, but the amplifier boosts that volume. So let's get started with looking at the Viking box. There are a few different ports on it. Um, I'm going to grab the camera here and zoom in just a little bit. If we can see it. You can see I've got uh, two, uh, two wires in the right, uh, two wires on the left, and the two black ones in the middle. On the right here by my hand is the power cord. And each of these have a label underneath them to tell you what those um, particular ports are for. Um, the one on the far right here is the audio in. This is for your paging line. Um, and then over here, the black ones, that's a those say audio out. And that's what goes out to your speakers or to your amplifier. On the left side here, this is called night ring. So right in the name of it, it tells you that it's meant to be used to uh, to ring the speakers. So it's not meant to answer a call, it's just meant to ring so you can hear in your shop when the phones are ringing. Um, each of those is plugged into a corresponding port. So the first thing we're going to set up is um, the FXO and FXS port on the phone system. The FXO port is going to be a trunk. It's going to connect the, uh, the paging portion of, of the Viking box to the phone system. So we need to create a trunk for that FXO port. Uh, let's see if I can hide my camera here. So on your phone system, we've already created an analog trunk. We called it PA trunk. We left the settings default. So we're using port two on this trunk and everything else was left default. So you don't have to do anything, anything unique or anything like that. Then you're gonna create an outbound route for it. And we named it PA here and we gave it the extension 999. So if somebody dials 999, it's told to go out this trunk. And that's what you can see here. That's all we put in here, the, the route, the permission level, which is internal, so anybody can use it. And it's going to go out to the trunk. This is going to allow you to page and have it auto answer and do a broadcast. For the other port, we're going to create an extension called Ring PA or whatever you want to call it. We numbered it 997, and this goes, it dials out the FX, FXS2 port on this system. So it's an FXS, it's an extension, it's another device where the paging is a FXO, it's a trunk. Now once you create those two, then you connect them up correspondingly. So the FXO goes here into the audio N, and the FXS goes here into the night ring. Once you've done all of that, 
you can pick up your phone, you can dial 997, that's the ring one, and it will ring. All you will hear is ring. It will never answer for you. So you add that extension to your ring group or your call queue, and it will ring with all of the other phones endlessly, and you'll hear it over your overhead speaker. Um, the other one, the FX, FXO port, is 999. So if I dial 999, it'll connect and page if you heard the dial. It's very quiet, so even if I talk into it, it's not going to be louder than I am, so you won't hear it, but it is there. But it's very quiet right now because there's no amplifier in between. So the 999 uses the FXO and pages, and the 997 uses the FXS and just rings. Along with those, you can add a, uh, a background music, if you will. There's a port that you can put music into, and the music will play constantly, and then if you page, it shuts off the music, does the page, page completes, it turns the music back on. Same with the ringing. If, you, if a ring comes in, it turns off the music, does the ring, ring stops, music turns back on. So the Viking Box can handle that as well. If you don't want to use any analog ports, you can use a SNOM PA1. That's the one we use. It is a SIP um, box to convert to a um, PA system. So it, it, it connects with a SIP trunk as an extension and then still has the same outputs to go over to your amplifier. Um, again, we will have a lot of this information in the description so you know exactly what ports to plug in where. Um, the phone system is fairly simple. It's just an extension that you add to a ring group or it's the FXO port that you create a trunk and a route and it'll just work. Um, if you have questions, comments, don't hesitate to, to send me a message, an email. Check us out at n2bs.com and uh, we've got many more videos and many more uh, resources for you guys and, uh, and things that will help you out along the way. Thanks for stopping in and uh, have a great day.